In my first year of teaching, I was really looking for some ways to engage my students, and I had never heard of or played Minecraft at this time, but I had some kids that were talking about it and bringing it into me and showing me the books they were reading about it, and I thought, hmm, there might be something here. And after doing some research, I found out that you know some people were using this as a classroom tool, and I had one student in particular who was very passionate about it, and we actually sat down with the curriculum documents, and he showed me what he thought we could learn with it. And uh, that student was my expert and started us off on this Minecraft journey. Uh, one of the things I really like about Minecraft EDU is that I'm not the expert. I've given it to my students and they're the ones that set up the worlds, manage the characters, create different activities for us to participate in and help each other learn. The kids are very excited about Minecraft. It's something that they feel that they're experts in, especially because many adults don't know very much about it. And so they're the ones that, that can kind of tell you about it and, and, and they enjoy the, the building aspect of it and the freedom that they have within it. And it's safe, so they're not being told that this is not a safe site, get out of it. You know, it's, a, it's safe for them to, to explore within it. My favorite thing about Minecraft is you can build stuff uh, of your own creation. You can build almost anything. It's everything. You play games, build houses, challenges, challenges, everything. It's great, awesome. Teaching how to do teamwork, work together, come together as a, a team. Teamwork. I think the idea of Minecraft, it's a collaborative environment, right? Uh, I've seen students uh, working in Genius Tower projects where they're all of a sudden they're bringing in other students saying, hey, can you help me with this? And so uh, they're learning how to collaborate, they're learning how to, uh, how to be respectful of others' ideas and, in an environment where creation is, is the goal, right? So they're learning how to create and how to refine that process. Minecraft EDU can be used as a tool in your classroom, but it's not always the focal point of your lesson. If you're looking for your students to be participating in a writing activity, you can catch them with the hook by including a Minecraft element. So the focus of the lesson doesn't always have to be on the building and on the plane and on the cooperative piece. The focus could be really on writing a story or a poem or describing a setting. And by connecting it to the game, I've noticed that there's just much more engagement from our students and a lot more passion and enthusiasm for their work. For our students at our school, I like the idea of being able to play the game without a lot of language being involved. Vicky Major has a lot of students that are new to Canada. Canada. It's their first experience in Canadian schools and this program doesn't require a lot of language, so there's more hands-on building and creating things together. This class we are expanding our like online stuff. Last time we were stuck on paper, now we have iPads to do with computers. I like the fact that Minecraft offers a virtual world, but the conversation that they're going to have with each other is real, and then talking about the difference between the two and where they need to really use their knowledge of how to treat one another respectfully within that environment and still create something that's, you know, sort of a, a fake environment, uh, a virtual environment that's sort of fun to, to build on. So, so teaching them about the digital citizenship beforehand, but then letting them explore in an, in an environment that is, is controlled and, and safe for them. Digital citizenship, making good choices. Not give your address, not give your uh, last name, your first name, it's like okay, and sometimes your age. And listening to their conversations about what their username should be, and how they should post online and talking about uh, the digital citizenship piece that we spend so much time in class on really let me know that they're transferring those skills from our classroom into the real world and that's very valuable for them moving forward in the rest of their lives. Minecraft EDU works really well inside of a classroom and I think it's going to really expand to that next level when we can develop some collaboration. So when schools can work together on a project or when we can have communities working together or when we can be in Minecraft EDU um, globally even. One classroom working on a project with the help of another classroom in another community, province, country, part of the world. You know, constantly moving forward into more of a digital world and, and um, we kind of got to move along with them. <laughs> so the kids are the, the kids, 
they're already there. So it's time for us to catch up to them and let them show us how, how we can continue to, to use this kind of technology. It's fun. It takes more than one try to build something. It's okay to like erase something. You don't have to get first time perfect.